Collective. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Gemini Lion Gate Port 888. My name is Jenna and welcome to my channel. This is a channel where I channel messages from your guys to my guys by using divination. Okay. I live by a freaking train. <laughs> every time I start a video, every time I try to make a video. If you're new here, by the way, I have a child. Okay. I'm a stay at home mom. Okay, I do everything at home. I work at home. I'm going to school at home. I'm doing everything at home. Okay, so there are times that I pre, I walk away. I don't edit my videos. Honestly, I don't know how to edit my videos. I'm sure when I get a laptop, I could do that. But right now, you get what you get. Okay, so don't throw a fit. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta go in the living room and, you know, see what he's up to. I, um, let the train go by. Golly. Every time. Every time I try to make a video of that freaking train. It's ridiculous. It's so annoying. Something might be annoying you. Maybe someone might be an interruption in your life, it feels like. Um... Please keep in mind though, these are general messages. We all have a similar story, not a familiar story, okay? So only take what feels, sounds, situation, and events are familiar to you, okay? The rest leave for the next collective. Um, what else? But being the collective, I trust your intuition. So why don't you, okay? Remember energy to be past, present, and future. Just trying to get as much smoke. Okay, this week I've been working with Archangel um, Zachahel. Zachahel. He's the angel of prosperity and abundance. Um they say we're sapphire i think these are blue diamonds but blue um or lap lapisal lapisal so we'll get some lapisal i i thought i had the red reds i don't know but let's just get i got um some cluster smoky quartz what else? Okay, Labradorite. The only Labradorite I have is this black Labradorite. What else? We'll throw some Silvertrine in there too. And... Ooh, this is really pretty. I don't know if this will... It's green. It's for money. Look, it's a marble <laughs> it's green um blue stones this are so mossy i get for to ground ourselves with our resources this is best but it's green and it's sort of this cool little turtle milky quartz turtle stone for longevity so we can have abundance that lasts a long time and then we'll throw a big old chunk of quartz in there to make sure we get that energy going all right we agree? We agree. All right, cool beans. Okay, Archangel Zachahel. Listen, he... I was like... He came on through, okay? Now, yes, he's here. Okay, I did a little pre-shuffle. Listen, tomorrow, or this week, your wish will... Like, be prepared. You're going to be getting a message or something in the mail, some type of news, and it's gonna come 
quickly, so I feel like it's going to be a surprise. This is coming with a wish, desire, a blessing, nine of cups, okay? So lately, you might be having a hard time expressing your emotions about financial security or abundance. Maybe you feel like it's not coming in or you're just kind of like, yeah, I'm, the, I'm just hoping. But really deep inside, you're kind of feeling not confident about it. Um, this tells me you've been waiting for an opportunity maybe. But listen, you have the Ace of Pentacles that came out right after. You have a new opportunity of wealth here. Either this is a promotion, a job opportunity, um, new resources somehow, some way, okay? It'll give you enough money to invest and to do something with, all right? So give yourself a lot of self-care this week, okay? Right now, you need to think, um, don't be so stressed out about this uh, financial stress, okay? You're going to have some type of money coming through. It's going to actually help your goals. It might help you go back to school because the Page of Pentacles came out. So it's definitely going to help your projects. Whatever you got going on, this money is going to help your... Whatever you're learning is going to help it flourish so you can be successful in life. Someone, though, Seven of Swords came out reversed. You could maybe felt like you had imposter syndrome or maybe this isn't you. But Seven of Swords in reverse is like maybe you were a liar or maybe you felt like you were doing something that was like... Maybe in the past you hmm, didn't make money the right way or something. You need to be careful, though, with this money because I forgot the Seven of Swords in reverse. This could mean an actual burglary or theft or fraud. Someone actually might try to fuck this up for you or they did or they tried and they didn't succeed. This person could be a pathological liar. They could be feeling very lonely right now. I feel like this is really not your energy collective. This person maybe wanted you to feel very lonely because they did this because they stole something from you. This is crazy. So the world in reverse came out and I was like, well, shit. So that tells me like, okay, you're feeling lonely. You're feeling of the fear of the unknown, but then the world on the upright came up right after. Cause see what I do is I put two, I have two tarot card decks put together. And I was like, okay, so it's either someone that's mirroring your energy. Okay. Whoever this pathological liar is, it's like you're achieving things and this person isn't or it, you change something about you, okay? You paid your karmic debt. You are completing cycles. You're closing out cycles. You're completing your goals here. Um, you might be turning a new leaf of feeling lonely, you know? Like feeling nothing's going to come in for you. Maybe you're just... Um, What did I put here about a computer? Feeling that nothing's going to be, oh, completed. Maybe you feel like nothing was going to be completed, but it is. So don't worry, okay? Your destiny is arriving here, and you will rise to the occasion. The Queen of Wands came out with the Three of Pentacles and the Empress, okay? So you're in definitely being seen in, like, a leadership role right now, okay? You're, if, even if you have these feelings, you're coming out very confident. Um, so you need to take that leadership role with much responsibility because you love working with people, working on a common goal, okay? With the Empress is telling me that um, not only you're the Queen of Wands, you are also, this leadership role is making sure that you have a position of security and of abundance, okay? You can be very attractive as well with the Queen of Wands and the Empress. Super attractive, whoever I'm talking to. You were awakened to something that was not in alignment in your life. A person, place, or thing. Now that you're in this position, don't lose interest in your goals and projects. Say if you even get a lot of money. Don't still try to work, like say if you get like a windfall of money. Still try to get a job. 
still work on your projects, still proceed, don't get lazy. Okay, don't go and have a plan. Don't have a lack of plan here. The Nine of Pentacles came out. How much can I say? You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, you're going to have some type of financial freedom, okay? This is going to make you think of the past situations because the six of cups in reverse came out. You're going to be like, wow, I actually, that wasn't a bad situation. Like now that you're going to have financial freedom, you're going to have uh, money to buy things, have a little bit of luxury. Please invest though. Be smart, but you're going to have a little bit of, you know, go buy yourself some clothes, go get your nails done, get your hair done, whatever. And you're going to sit there and be like, okay, that situation wasn't that bad waiting for that money or whatever, or waiting for this job. Or now you're going to be like <gasps> type of energy. And then it ended with the Wheel of Fortune on the upright. Archangel Zachahel. Okay. He definitely came through this week for you guys. He's, um, you paid your karmic debt. What goes around comes around. Okay. So you put a lot of good energy out there. So now it's time he's going to reward you with fortune and su success. Okay. We're Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Mother of Pearl. Damn. I do have Mother of Pearl. It's on my... I look how I fixed my smoky cords. I put a mother of pearl on there. I was like, eh, it did not come out the way I thought. There's a mother of pearl right here, though. Oh, son, it's good. He's such a, like, sensitive to things. What did I say? That's all wet. I'm wearing shorts, by the way. Um, he's so sensitive to movies. Like, when there are parts where it makes him feel a negative emotion, my son, well, he's autistic. So it's crazy to see... It's like they, I don't know, it's crazy because, you know, I've been learning a lot about autism and it's like, they say that they have a hard time with their emotions and stuff, but I feel like autistic people, they're, I feel like they do get emotions. They might not know what to do with those emotions, but I feel like they're more awakened than anyone, anyone. Like my son is really awakened and he's only three years old. He really knows the world around him, but he just can't communicate. He can't talk yet. Um, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of cool to see, you know, it's interesting to see him. Um, you know, and then, yeah, sometimes he is in his own little world. I look in his eyes and it's like, where are you, son? But, you know, as long as he knows I'm there, it's he's okay to, to he has that freedom to get lost, you know? Um, he'll be okay. But yeah, so there's parts that come on a movie. He's like, he has a hard time sleeping. Yeah, you have a major phase. Something has ended for you to transform here so you could get this gift, the Six of Pentacles. So a major phase in your life is ending here. You're not taking foolish steps anymore. You're not taking foolish actions, okay? You're not going to take a leap of faith towards something that will end you. Someone does not want you to walk away. A king of pentacles. Um, or someone doesn't want a king of pentacles to walk away. Um, this person needs to be very cautious about whoever is doing that to them. This could be a Taurus or a Taurus. Or someone doesn't want a Taurus to walk away. A queen of swords. On the upright, Libra energy. Yeah, so you might, Queen of Swords and a King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. There might be a new relationship with uh, a man that's good with resources. Someone tried to end a victory here, but yeah. Um, like a, a Gemini energy right there, the lovers. Yeah, Queen of Swords again. 
So if not, there's a true speaker here. Queen of Swords is someone that's been through a lot. A King of Pentacles is a good father figure. A man, Queen of Pentacles right there too. Well, you came out as the Empress in the pre-shuffle, so I'm definitely talking to my Divine Feminines. You're so funny, son. There's like such a huge age difference between my son and daughter. Like, you know, it's like, I wish I could put them in bunk beds, but he wouldn't, he wouldn't stay sleeping in that room anyways with her. Is yeah, unfortunately, you know, I live in a home where my kids have to share a room, which is fine. One day I'll be able to, I don't know, I like, this is the house that I grew in actually, it's kind of crazy. Um, I like being here, this is my safe place, I like being here at my home. Um, so yeah, unfortunately they have to share a room, but... A lot of times he doesn't even stay in that room anyways, so he likes to be out in the living room. Sometimes he likes, I don't, sometimes he likes to sleep with me, but it's always like, well, this is like, I use a lot of the sage in this room, so <laughs> like my kids are like, well, mama stinks in here. Um, I'm always, you know burning sage queen of cups yeah you're coming out you overcame a lot here with the nine of wands a secret is cut you survived some type of illusion with the moon and the nine of wands what do else do what 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 what, what? really wasn't feeling these cards no not feeling them Holy Spirit, Archangels, what's going on? Let's get some zodiacs. Let's get some into the astrology here. Your first house is coming out in the green. Happy birthday if today's your birthday. Or you might have a birthday coming up here soon or this week or sometimes in this month. Happy birthday. You could definitely be in Aries, the first house. Okay, happy birthday, Aries. Right? Would it be your birthday? Pisces, Aries, right? Yeah. So yeah, you could definitely be an Aries. You're coming out, uh, or this is just you collected in general. Your first house is like, you're in alignment with yourself. You know who you are. You know exactly where you're going. People are seeing who you are. You're authentic. You're original. You manage to, um, you're not in your ego, which that tells me you're in your north node. He watches the craziest, like, animes or, like, foreign movies. You guys know the Boonie Bears? Like, those cart, like, Boonie Bears. is like, they're from China. <laughs> the Ingolite, like, this English. <laughs> um. <laughs> Why am I dropping shit? Can't talk. I literally feel like I just sit here and I'm like talking to you guys like I'm like hey what's up? I'll be, hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm gonna go change my kids' diapers. <laughs> I'm sure one day I'll be I don't like editing my videos. I feel like it gives it a little bit more at least you guys know I'm not, you know, doing any funny business. I don't know. I'm sure it gets annoying though. So thank you guys for the viewers that have been supporting me it's very much 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 obliged okay um so i could be definitely talking to an aries or your first house in the green telling me your personality you're in alignment with yourself you know who you are you're very independent you're very driven okay now there could be a gemini 
and then the red or this is someone that's just lack of communication no communication lack of intelligence um someone's third house who's this per okay this person could be a gemini a vertigo this person is definitely not a thinker if you got gemini and vertigo here in this red energy like that tells me this person does not use their subconscious their their conscious they're not analytical they're not logical thinkers they're not good communicators they're they're not smart why am I getting that energy? This person is not smart. I hate to say it, but or they, they're not using, they're not thinking here. They're having a hard time cleansing their energy as well. Maybe they have a hard time thinking because they have some type of mental disorder, like maybe like a personality disorder. Um, maybe they're manic depression or something. I mean, they might have a a personality disorder, like. This person could be a Cancer. I got Gemini, Vertigo, Cancer. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Capricorn. Six, seven, eight, nine. Sagittarius. Someone could be like a Sagittarius Capricorn, like a Cusper. A Libra. Seven. This could do with someone's like relationship or about a relationship. The seventh house, like a couple or someone's relationship is going to shit because this person is not thinking clearly. Someone's not thinking clearly here. This could be someone you're related to with the fourth house or a family situation or someone you had a family with. It could, their career could be suffering because of this lack of knowledge, lack of clarity, lack of something. Maybe they're getting, I don't know. Well, your first house, again, look at 6, 7, okay? Your um, Libra energy again, but you're, it's like your energy, you're mentally stable to be in a relationship. This individual wasn't, Okay. Capricorn energy again, Vertigo, Cancer, Aries, six, Leo. Regardless, is you are very rooted. You could be really into like your ancestors. You're very independent. You know how to cleanse your energy. But I'm looking at this. I feel like it's about your seventh house, like your relationships. Like you might be getting into a new relationship with someone. Well, you have a family member or someone that you know or consider family, they're suffering in their relationship because this person cannot think for shit. This is a low vibrational Capricorn. Yeah. What's leading, what's the new opportunity here? This person been could been holding a lot of secrets or again, you're in your, you're this divine feminine. And you have this low vibrational Capricorn that could have been attacking your seventh house. Now, this person's seventh house is not doing very well. This person cannot think. It's crazy. They could have caused them a lot of illusions. They could have been doing moon magic, and now it's hitting them. It's like, so yeah, this Capricorn in the reverse is, yeah. They thinking that they have a new opportunity to do something here on the next full moon. I don't know where the next full moon is. I'm going to have to... We just got over a full moon, so I don't know what direction this is leading to. This person could feel like they're a divine feminine, but they're not. Listen, yeah, this person is reaping karma. Saturn is returning back to this individual with Saturn in reverse. Someone's, yeah, this Capricorn is reaping karma. They don't know how to be disciplined. Or they could be very... Saturn, yeah, Saturn, Capricorn, and Aquarius energy. Someone could have moon rising in their chart. This individual, this Capricorn is like very, comes off very arrogant. And it's because they think that they're always right. But they're lacking discipline here. They're lacking control. Challenges. Come on, through spirit. With Neptune and the moon, this person thinking that they have new opportunities to cause illusions here. But they're in an illusion. They're in a dream state. 
Neptune and the moon. Yeah, this individual is, yeah, very, very manipulative, this Capricorn. She's kind of a weird fucking, like, hmm. This bitch is fucking weird. Like, she comes off. She's trying, she can't keep her mask on anymore. Outcome. A water sign. Or a water element. This person's going to be in their emotions about something in the future. About something. She's going to be crying about something. Probably. She's like, oh yeah, she's going to be all, I'm the victim here. Like, she feels like she's being attacked about some type of illusions that she's, I feel like it's a she. Even though it's a guy right here, I feel like it's a she because the moon right there is telling me it is a feminine energy. She's reaping karma here. Holy Spirit, Archangels, Archangel Zekahel. This person's um, money is affecting their money as well as their seventh house. It's karma. This person could have been doing some type of magic on you where she wanted you to gain weight and now she's losing all kinds of weight or whatever. She doesn't think it's funny anymore, does she? Mm -hmm. What's up with that? Or she's like body shamed you or something and now she's like, everyone thinks that this person's on drugs because she's losing all kinds of weight. Maybe this is something that she said about you. It's like, well, look how skinny she is. And now she's all skinny, so people are... This person has a fucking weird, weird, weird thing, thinking. Three of Pentacles. This is someone that you worked with. This is someone that you collaborated with before. This is a Capricorn. The Three of Pentacles is with a Capricorn. Heavy on the Capricorn energy here. Yeah, this individual um, did some type of collaboration here. Okay, on the new moon. What's this moon energy? With a king of pentacles, with a Taurus. Or they don't want you collaborating with the king of pentacles. Or they did some type of shrewd business deal here with somebody. On the full moon. Or someone's not communicating. I just have to read it differently. What's this Saturn? What's this karma? Some Saturn's return. Karma is spanking this Capricorn in the ass. Capricorn again. Like heavy on the water or the earth signs out here. Taurus, Capricorn. She could be, but see, I'm reading this differently with Saturn in reverse. This person was like a gold digger. They're not a good mother. They're very selfish. They're about me, 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 me. They don't, they have a child. They don't really take care of their child. It's like they put their needs before their child's needs. People are starting to see this about this Capricorn. This is someone from your past. Okay. She could have uh, traveled in a motorhome or some shit like that with somebody. Or I have to look that this up. I'm going to read it differently. And now she's in her emotions as an outcome. Why? Because she's a goddamn narcissist. I told you. She's a narcissist. She really doesn't. This person is like. Hmm. Five of spades. She's all, she's in some type of trouble in the future uh, outcome. This is why she's all in her emotions. This is a Capricorn. With the Three of Pentacles. Um, three of Diamonds. Well, let's see what Three of Diamonds is. Three of Diamonds can mean... Um, I like using this website for the card. Cardium. Three of Diamonds is a card of professional career. It means you should maintain keen interest in your work and your uh, business. Do not let another shiny object or an apparent opportunity to distract you. Three of diamonds suggests that you'll be well appreciative and rewarded for your current work. But see, she's in reverse, so she's a little vibrational. See, something about her job. She can't work or perform at her job here. 
she um, got she's very distracted and she either collaborated with this king of pentacles or she doesn't want you collaborating with this king of pentacles so she tried to cause an illusion here um something in secret she's like she does things behind your back a lot whatever this capricorn is king of diamonds You're being, even though you're being seen as this, um, a shrewd businessman who execute deals, runs companies and grows wealth with good decisions. He's an excellent negotiator because he's cunning, fearless, and a decision maker. At times this king can get a little hot headed when things don't go his way. Yeah. So this person could be dealing with their boss at work or they know something about their boss is this key is this capricorn this this person's boss is this uh king of pentacles this person's boss this king of pentacles is seeing this capricorn for who they it's like they're seeing they're not doing a good job at their work It's their boss <sighs> or someone that they meet with a lot. Like, say if they go to church together or to a spiritual group, like this king of, this king of pentacles is seeing through this person's illusions. They're seeing like they're not committed to their spirituality or their faith. Um, because they're reaping karma for what they did to a real queen of pentacles. Like you could be a good mother and this person could have been going around saying that you weren't when they're a shitty mom. Like they could be always in the bars and shit like that. And they don't, yeah, you're, you're like beautiful. You're like authentically beautiful. You're original, well-dressed and clever. She often despises a slightly judgment, judgment look on her face. She holds a flower in her hand, which symbolizes her love for nature, her ability to grow things from the seeds she had planted. Yeah, this individual was like saying that you're a bad mom, but you're not. This person was very jealous of you. Well, just clever. You'd be very like well put together and this this Capricorn was jealous of you and she was trying to cause of a lot of illusions so this uh king of pentacles wouldn't see you. She's reaping karma for it though. Keep it is aiming at the arrow is mean falling in love stand still because he's going to shoot i'm telling you right now this king of pentacles he doesn't see you though you could be in love with this king of pentacles or you have some type of love for him he doesn't see you because of this capricorn that he actually collaborates or works with or he knows okay he's he's having a hard time seeing something here about you but you you like this individual. Someone is really in their emotions. There is a deep love, a permanent love here out of the outcome. And yeah, with the water. Like, so basically this Capricorn was really trying to hope that you two would not come together okay this individual though cupid shot the arrow between you two okay the challenge is that she really caused a lot of illusions she could have been doing this just by talk okay she collaborates she knows this king of pentacles somehow she knows him i don't know how they collaborate but they collaborate he's starting to see through her bullshit though because she's a narcissist What else is the message here?
I'm gonna check on him, he's really quiet. He could be asleep, actually. Yeah, he's like a little boring. He's asleep. He's tired. He's tired, collective. King of Pentacles. The king indicates that you have a friend who advise you should follow. Don't be stubborn and ignore the advice of this friend. You have a failure because of the disagreed others' opinions. Profit from your by your past experience idle talk should not make you change your mind about your project queen of diamonds to men foolish women who may cause you worry or unhappiness should be forgotten be careful to women be careful to not be trapped to some designing man use more cautious on both business and love affairs so it's like right now you guys have people in your ears like people really this capricorn really did not want you to meet this this king of pentacles or they don't want this king of pentacles to meet you because i feel like they know it's going to bring a lot of love and prosperity what the hell did i sit on what's on here the future will be very happy if you're married expect an addition to the family if you're not married do not be familiar with strangers with the six of cups Three of pentacles, three of diamonds, I mean, sorry, my bad. A marvelous opportunity for to make a money will come to you in due time. Bide your time. Remember, everything comes in good timing. I feel like this king of pentacles is going to bring an opportunity to you. Or maybe you're going to bring opportunity to this king of pentacles. Because you are in this leadership role. You may receive words shortly that will cause loss or sleep of unhappiness because you're doubtful or of certain things. This doubt will be wiped out after meeting, which will end well for you. Yeah, someone might even come and try to tell you or like, oh, you know, this person wants to just meet you because of this and this and that. And then you're going to meet them and you're going to be like, oh, don't listen to this Capricorn. <laughs> okay, don't listen to them at all. Okay, she's really trying to block something here i feel like but she's reaping karma for it and it's actually hitting her seventh house she's it's like she's not her relationships are suffering because of it what else the pond I forget what the pun is. Endurance. The toad. The pond and the toad. Look. You can live by water. Or you definitely like to be out in nature. Okay. You could have a pond with toads in there. Now, I... Maybe... The noose. Someone's trying to sabotage something here. One more. Holy Spirit. But your endurance is very... Yeah, identity. Someone's trying to sabotage your identity. The pond, the pond, the pond, the pond. I can't remember where the pond is. I know someone's trying to sabotage your joy here. Your joy. The pond. Endurance. Someone's name could be Anna or Anne or Anita or Anne.
endurance. Staying with pain, avoiding pain, and patience. She was celebrated during and beyond her lifetime for her lyric melancholic poetry. A Russian fell under the ceiling of, I can't say it, and her circle of art artists and intellectual were prosecuted for their work. Her son was in prison and sent to a labor camp, and her husband was executed. Oh my god, a famous poem, Requiem, is her boldest attempt to capture. Maybe Requiem of a Dream is... It resonates with you guys with something here. But man, someone was really trying to punish you for being you. But look at you are a phoenix. Someone was doing some type of voodoo here with a voodoo doll and an egg. But you're holding an egg. And look, you're a phoenix. You're ri you're rising from the ashes here. Because you, you don't avoid your pain. You don't sit with pain here. Pawn. Where's the pawn? Oh, that's a wing. Damn, I'm blind. The toad means humor, grotesque, and joy. Someone thought it was funny to sabotage you. Looking inward, inspiration, uncertainty. Someone is very... Someone was very uncertain about you, I feel like. You started looking inward for inspiration. You could actually go to a pond to find inspiration. Um, there's uh, cattails here. Cattails are so tough. Like, people actually... Uh, Native Americans used to eat cattails. They're very healing, but they're meaty. And they're very... They, they are very endurance, actually. You... You... Find inspiration in your own inner strength, in your own inner toughness. You know how to to deal with the pain. Someone was doing some type of voodoo dolls here with you, a man and a woman maybe. But you rise from the ashes. You're holding an egg that tells me your ideas, your innovations is yours, okay? Even like her son and husband was put in a concentration camp and she still survived. You know, her poems are still being read today. She's still being seen as inspirational. You went through a lot here, okay? That's why people find you inspiring. And you have a lot of joy and humor, but someone tried to sabotage your joy and humor, okay? With the noose. Identity, survival, the opinions of others. I'm telling you right now, someone tried to sabotage your identity by spreading rumors about you so they thinking the opinions of others matter but this person just essentially hung themselves they thought it was funny they this, this is a like very dark individual that capricorn is very dark very dark okay so people find you inspirational because you endured a lot here Okay, someone thought it was funny to sabotage you, to try to ruin you. This person really cares about the opinions of others. What else? The intellect. She really wants to be seen as smart here. Someone could smoke a lot of cigarettes. She's holding a volcano and an eyeball. There's a lot of red. This is a very... Nerve, this is that's what yeah low vibrational capricorns they do that they really like they want to know the opinions of others and the fact that people know this individual tried to sabotage you and got off on it it's this is what's fucking this person up mentally they don't like because they're the opinions of others really matter intellectual growth delights of the mind plague of the mind this person is, has a plague of the mind while you're consider someone of intellect people know you're smart and this individual isn't and she really cares what people think she wanted to be seen as sophisticated you might even wear men's clothing or this woman wears men's clothing or she's comfortable wearing men's clothing pawn so you, people find you very inspiring because, yeah, look it, a cycle has been complete. You have achieved a lot, collective. 
you have much success here, okay? People see that you've achieved a lot in life and you're being seen as inspirational because they, they know that you've been through a lot, okay? People are awakened to you. They know you're awake. There's no confusion about your achievements here. You know exactly what's going on, the four of wands, okay? So you're very happy. You're very content right now, okay? You could be in a relationship or you're just, this is just the four of wands. It's like, this is just you being happy at home. You're awakened. People are awakened. People see how inspiring you are and how your goals, your destiny is to help others. Your destiny, this was your destiny. I'm sorry that you had to go through so much pain, but God would not have given you this pain if you were not this Phoenix energy. He would not give this to you. He knew you would rise from the ashes because it was your purpose in life to help those that can't. So people could, you're awakening people this way. This is, yeah. Someone found humor by trying to sabotage you. This individual is like, she sold somebody a dream. She's a liar. She could be with somebody right now or pretending to be with somebody, okay? She wants to be seen as a person of status in her society to this king of wands. This could be a Leo, a, Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries. She really lied to the Sagittarius and was like, oh, I'm this and that and blah, 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 okay? Because she's selfish and stingy, okay? She's trying to hang on to a lover here. She could be with a, a fire sign who, like, she's hanging on to them for dear life, Okay, she wants this person to be their soulmate, but it's not happening. This uh, King of Wands sees this individual as very selfish, and he might be seeing you, Gemini energy. He might be seeing you as loving and um, balancing out. He's also trying to recover from this Capricorn, his money-wise. This person really cares about the opinions of others. Yeah, this is like a distorted family member. You're related to this person, okay? She caused a lot of conflict in your life, and now people are fighting with her because of it. She's so confused here. See how you are awakened? This person's asleep. Whoever this family member is, this Capricorn is, that people are fighting with, because, and she is so fucked up in the head. She's Her mind is plagued. She cannot stand the fact that people do not see her as this woman of status anymore. or And she's like delusional. Delusional. It's like people are, they know exactly who you are, okay? But people are like, confused why this individual is so confrontational when it comes to you and the opinions about you what else is going on holy spirit archangels what else is going on yeah, there's a lot of things slowing down at this person's job. People don't want to work with her anymore. What's going on? Queen of Cups, because you're, you're a sweetheart. People knew that this Capricorn was attacking a sweetheart, okay? You could be a water sign, don't have to be. You're just sweet, sensitive. Look at, while you're receiving good karma, that Capricorn is receiving bad karma. You're showing great discipline here. You could be a cancer, okay, on the upright. Or you're just, you're coming out very, um, you understand your emotions, okay? This, per, this people are like, why are you so against this individual? Aren't you related to this person? This person is a sweetheart. Or a cancer sees you as a sweetheart. A masculine cancer. And he's asking, he's asking your family member, like, why are you attacking her? Like, she's sweet. You're not. This person is really exposing themselves here. What's the influencing this Queen of Cups? Okay, you're very, yeah, something was, 
something was done to you very unfair to us look at this i'm telling you right now someone's reaping karma justice in reverse and the rule of fortune in reverse for speaking ill will or cause just go doing the most against a sweetheart someone's going through a lot of misfortune here they wanted to, something is illegal here someone did something illegal to cause a lot of misfortune to a sweetheart what's up with this queen of cups one more for this queen of cups so you're being considered as a sweetheart yeah Someone regrets walking away from you. Someone wishes that they could have uh, walked away from the drama when they, they had the chance. This individual instead went and did something something unfair, something illegal to cause you misfortune. And now this person is going through karmic justice. The divine is here. Someone's reaping a lot of karma for, for not walking away from a situation when it comes to a sweetheart. Causing someone a lot of misfortune, unfair. Libra, Aquarius, a lot of fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Vertigo energy. What's going on in the subconscious part of the mind? A blessing, okay? A wish fulfillment is coming in or you're thinking about, you're just grateful that you survived this situation. Yeah. You could feel like a little, um, this came out in the previous shuffle, like you're feeling very, un um, not confident about your blessings coming in. That's not your energy. This is these other individuals. Okay. Cause you had a lot, you're, you're coming out of the queen of cups right now. So you're very sensitive. All right. You're just feeling a little bit unsure about your blessings here. They're coming in though. You just got to have faith that they will. Conscious part of the brain. Lovers. Yeah, you because you had a, a lover, an ex-lover, a toxic lover, uh, Gemini energy, um, that kind of did something to you. He put you through a lot here. Okay, a breakup kind of. Sugar, yeah. Someone's clearly sees an ex lover, okay, sees that they made the wrong decision. They wish that they really regret walking away from you, a sweetheart here, okay. This individual could be feeling a little uneasy about a blessing, about a wish desire. They know that you're never going to be with them again because they put you through a lot. They could be connected to that Capricorn as well. They, This person is going through justice in reverse. A lot of unfairness and mis unfair misfortune. Unfair misfortune. Someone, yeah, an ex-lover regrets. Whoever this lover is, they really, someone is like, two swords in reverse. They clearly see now someone is like in so much sorrow. It's eating up someone alive that they walked away from you five of pentacles in reverse someone could be sick someone could be mentally ill someone is going through some type of injury someone could be in an accident here okay the star in reverse so aquarius energy to capricorn energy again that's saturn in reverse someone in the past okay an aquarius or a capricorn these people are not healed they're not being seen they're not being seen as special they feel hopeless and like in despair someone could be sick here someone could be going through a lot of like misfortunes like they're getting in accidents or they keep hitting their toe or they're something like that because of this misfortune this uh unfairness misfortune that they are going through that they try to cause you because they clearly see that they chose the wrong lover here or they listen to someone to break up with you, okay? They really know that, this person really knows that you're their wish desire, but you have no love for them anymore. They really regret walking away. What's the future? Queen of Swords. You're coming out in the future as this Queen of Swords, Libra energy, or you're just coming out as guarded. Look it. Right here, you're being sensitive. Someone would regrets walking away from a sweetheart. In the future, you're coming out as strong and guarded. 
very you've been through this is you've been through this ex lover put you through some motherfucking shit and this is why you're so guarded what's this queen of swords you're speaking the truth to someone in the future too you're letting people know how the fuck it is you're letting people know hey anyone that takes any foolish actions towards you you'll fucking shut them down real quick you'll tell a fool when they're acting like a fool <clears throat> When right now you're in this very sweetheart energy because, or someone thought they were just walking away from a sweetheart in the future, they're like, oh no, oh no, she's the queen of swords. You're letting someone have it in the future. Like you're telling someone how it is in the future, a fool. Like you're giving it to them. You're like, no, this is what how it is. This is how you treated me, okay? And I don't feel sorry for you, so fuck off. This is how this someone knows that. You have no love for them anymore. Okay. What's the advice here? King of Wands on the upright. So. So a group, this King of Wands group of friends. People that he parties with celebrate. They didn't want this King of Wands to self-reflect and achieve anything here. Maybe this group of friends like benefit something off this King of Wands if he doesn't do it. I don't know. Yeah, some this they, someone didn't want this King of Wands to be awakened here to achieve his goals, so he didn't have to. Uh, um, yeah, it's a group is. A person that he parties with, a group of friends, his friends, his social group, they don't want him to achieve his goals. They don't want him to become a master at his craft. They don't want him to, like, be a, uh, to self-reflect here. Instead, they wanted him to judge you here. I don't know who this King of Wands is now all of a sudden. Who's this King of Wands? I don't think this is, I don't know who you're talking shit to in the future, but someone, a Pisces maybe, you're talking, you're telling someone how it is, a fool in the future. Who's this King of Wands? This is an Aquarius. A fire sign? Yeah, so an Aquarius social group of friends, they didn't want this individual to achieve anything here, to answer to his actions here whatever foolish actions he took against you yeah his friends don't want them to like answer to it they just and they also didn't want him to become a master at his own trade or craft i don't know how they this group of friends benefit off it but i don't know he could be attached to a fire sign or he was very driven but now he's not because of the like this aquarius group of friends really really like slow them down or an Aquarius slow down a King of Wands. Take it how it resonates. I yeah. Someone really allow their friends to fuck up shit between you guys. To fuck up their life. And you're telling them this in the future. You're like letting them know, hey, this is this is your fault. You allowed others to ruin your life. It's not my problem. Get on. You were you were a fool. You took a leap of faith into acting like a damn fool. Now deal with it. This is what you're telling this person. Well, this individual's friends didn't have the guts, didn't even want to, to address that with this Aquarius. You have no problem telling it to this individual. Because this individual is going through a lot of misfortune, a lot of uh, legal issues, okay? He regrets not walking away from a situation at the time. Okay, now he's going through a lot of shit here. This person could have had an accident or got sick in the past or they're having some type of financial ruin or someone has a mental disorder or some shit like that. Yeah, this person knows you have no love for them and they see you as their wish desire and they clearly know that they made a wrong choice with the lovers, maybe with a Gemini. Outside influences. Like, you're telling someone how it is. It's funny. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this uh, Vertigo Capricorn, whoever she is, she's being seen of a woman of 
of not status. She's not smart. She overindulges. She likes to spend other people's money. She's, yeah. This is something, like, she really don't want to be seen as. Okay, a king of swords is seeing this. There you are. This is your counterpart. A king of swords sees a woman for who she truly is. This is a very fair, just man. He knows that this woman overindulges. She knows, um, what else? Yeah, look, he knows that she takes, she's impulsive. Okay? That she took a quick action here. Gemini energy again. To block your goals. So... A king of swords knows about this Capricorn or Vertigo. Capricorn. Heavy on the earth sign. Taurus. I don't know if this is the law or what, but there's a, a man of, uh, of authority knows that these people, these women, were very impulsive to try to slow you down to make sure you wouldn't have a job, to make sure you wouldn't have success, to make sure you wouldn't have money. And they're be they know about it. King of Swords knows about it. What's hopes and fears? Someone's uh, fears is that they're gonna lose their ma their resources, huh? Which is happening. Someone's definitely trying to copy your energy. Someone's biggest fears is to lose their resources and it's happening. This person was really, um, yeah, someone's manifestations are not coming in. Their biggest fears is coming true. Outcome. High Priestess, here you are. Okay, you're in this High Priestess energy in the... Your outcome is like you reach some type of spiritual enlightenment here. You're chosen B and J. You're one of God's chosen ones. You could be doing tarot cards reading or you're a spiritual practitioner, but you're on the upright. You're chosen to do this. You're highly intuitive. You're high priestess. Look at you. Someone wants to work with you and collaborate and communicate with you in the future. Like you could be actually helping people with your talents with being a high priestess a shaman or whatever you're using your your gifts from god to help people collaboration yeah to speak the truth not oh my goodness not only you could definitely be a tar tarot card reader because you're speaking the truth in the future here and this is why people want to come in and collaborate with you and give you their money they know you they know you speak the truth of the of ace of swords you have archangel and a king of pentacles in reverse uh a, a taurus someone that's a true businessman he's trying to rejuvenate here he's trying to get some type of rest here queen of cups he's gotta let you go You have another masculine energy in here. This person, um, who's this King of Pentacles? An Aquarius or Capricorn? Yeah, this is an Aquarius again. I don't know, is this Aquarius the same as this King of Wands? You got two Aquariuses. You got one on the upright, though. He's a king of wands. He could be changing his life here. Okay? But you got another Aquarius here. This individual is definitely reaping some type of karma, not awakened to the situation. This person could be an absent father, a bad businessman, or he makes um, legal deals to make money. This per the, like Something's being put to rest here. Something's being stopped here. Okay, um, when it comes to your energy, he's being blocked. 
This is the individual, all, like, these individual regret, like, they both regret. But this King of Wands, this Aquarius over here is actually changing his life because he's on the upright. He knows he made the wrong decision to listen to his friends, and now he's changing his situation. This Aquarius right here, he doesn't, he's got to let you go. He's got to release you, Queen of Cups. Because, look at you're in this Queen of Cups high priestess energy. You are, you're an empath. You read energy, okay? And you speak, you're a true speaker. I'm, I'm thinking you're a tarot card reader. And in the future, people are going to be giving your money, collaborating with you, and this is why this individual is going to have to let you go. He's losing a lot of resources in the future, but he's a... And then and he's in regret because of it in the future. He's going to be in regret because he's got to let something go here. Because something's being put to a rest. This, oh my God, the Page of Wands to the Nine of Wands. This person has no more energy. No more energy to give. Or you have no more energy to give to this person. Mm -mm. There is like such a lack of energy here. You do like, this, this gives this person a lot of fear and anxiety. Because they know you don't even like find them attractive anymore. This other Aquarius, well, this other Aquarius is getting his life together. King of Swords on reverse. He knows he was dishonest to you. He's also an absent father. He's not taking care of his children. He might have multiple children. He knows you have a new beginning of wealth here. He, yeah, something's being released. This person might have to pay child support, maybe a lot of child support in the future. I don't know. He knows you have a new opportunity of wealth. He's, yeah, he's got to let you go. Case of Pentacles. You got two. Look at You got two. Be, like, listen. You got two masculine energies here. A King of Wands that's changing his life. An Aquarius that's changing his life. And a Capricorn or Aquarius that's an absent father, dishonest, disloyal. They got to release some type of money to you they got to be paying money out to you while you're helping individuals in the future with your empathic gifts because you're chosen to do so you're also a true speaker <laughs> that's crazy they both are gonna have to pay you in the future <laughs> both these aquariuses do this king of wands don't care because he's changing his life he knows that he made a mistake with these friends Anyways, I hope the messages help. What is the next step for the collective? Someone knows that they're, they are waiting for, patiently for some type of money that's never going to come in. They, they're not seen as wholesome. They're leaving someone out in the cold or they're being left out in the cold or they feel like they're being left out in the cold. They also feel like they can't plan for the future anymore. It's that other Aquarius that didn't want to change his ways. Yeah, because uh, this woman... That the cops are watching. Okay. He. He's leaving this woman. This woman that. Yeah. He's awakened to this person. To this woman that overindulges. That was trying to block your goals. He's awakened to her. Her plannings. Her lack of planning. Okay. And he's leaving her out in the cold. Because he knows that she's not wholesome or he's like, you could wait for money, bitch, but it's never going to come in. I don't know what that's about. What's going to happen for the high priestess and my queen, my impasse in the future? Or, yeah, someone is trying to make a decision about you. Someone could be indecisive. Still trying to hang on to your energy. It's that other Aquarius. He doesn't want things to end between you guys, but he's going to have to let you go. Okay? Yeah, because you're, you're, you're like defending yourself. You're blocking yourself from this individual. You don't want nothing to do with this low vibrational Aquarius at all. You don't want nothing to do with him. He knows that he made the wrong choice here. Because he's hitting a fucking tower. You are protected from this individual because he is going through tower moment his life is chaos upheaval because he wanted to believe 
this woman that is of low status, that doesn't even have money, that is overindulgent. This could be your family member. He believed a lie. He's awakened to it now. And he, he knows now he's not getting any money. He feels like you're leaving them out in the cold. And now he can't, his plans are all like he has, he did not plan this. He did not plan this would happen. Okay. But it is, it's a done deal. He's, it's done. He's hidden Aquarius energy again in Scorpio. He's hidden this fucking tower and there's nothing that can happen. You are protect. This is why God, this is like, what's that saying? Rejection is protection. Okay. The reason why you're rejecting this other Aquarius is because he's got to go through these upheavals. Because he does, he does something illegal to cause you misfortune. Now for this other Aquarius, this King of Wands, he's actually trying to change his life. So I'll give him credit. They're both going to give you a payout in the future. Anyways, I hope that helped. Bye. <laughs>